apron needs to fit Every welder should own and use the proper PPE, personal protective equipment. In addition to protecting the welder, wearing the appropriate PPE is a great way to demonstrate a professional image to a potential employer during an interview or job skill demonstration. In order to protect the welder, PPE needs to be in good condition and it needs to fit properly. Welders should also consider keeping an extra pair of safety glasses in their tool bag in case their main pair gets lost or damaged. The welding jacket or apron needs to fit well and be in good condition. This is both for safety and for comfort. Because different types of welding have different requirements, it's a good idea to keep a couple of different gloves in your tool bag. Welders often rely on a variety of measuring tools to make accurate layouts on parts that will be fabricated or welded. Tools, such as a tape measure or a combination square, are used to verify parts and their assembly against the blueprint. You should own your own common measurement tools, including either a digital or dial calipers. Most companies' quality control standards require measurement tools to be accurately calibrated. In order to maintain this calibration and avoid damage, it's important to keep any precision measuring tools in your bag or in a protective case when you're not using them. Along with measuring tools, a welder's bag should also contain various marking tools. Paint markers, permanent markers, and scratch awls are all used for different purposes in welding and metal fabrication. For example, paint markers are a good choice for marks that need to be visible during welding or torch cutting, and a scratch awl should be used to make precise marks on pieces that require accurate fabrication. Leveling is another important measurement in welding and fabrication. The welder needs to have the appropriate leveling tools to find the correct measurements. A bubble level is a simple tool, while a digital level is a more precise and useful tool. It provides an actual numerical degree reading, while the bubble level provides an approximate measurement. The digital level is especially useful for assemblies that require a specific degree of measurement. A ball-peen hammer should be in the welder's tool bag because it's always good to have one handy. A hammer serves many different uses, including helping the welder set parts in an assembly for welding or helping to disassemble parts when they need to be reworked. Welders never know when they'll need a hammer's extra force. Specific welding processes require specific tools. For SMAW and FCAW processes that produce slag, a chipping hammer and a wire brush are absolute necessities. For every welding process, a wire brush is used for pre- and post-weld cleaning. Welders should be aware that some applications, such as aluminum and stainless steel, require a stainless steel brush to keep the material from being contaminated by iron-containing carbon steel brushes. Because of these differences, you should always label the brushes in any tool. The Welpers, or Welders Pliers, is a welding process-specific tool for GMAW and FCAW. It specifically services the weld gun. It has a variety of uses, including cutting the wire electrode, removing the nozzle and contact tip, and cleaning spatter from the nozzle when used as a pliers. It's good to have different sizes and types of clamps and locking pliers in the tool bag. These serve a variety of purposes during fabrication and welding, and they give the welder an extra hand. A locking pliers is especially useful for holding parts that need to be welded in position. Welders should always visually inspect their welds for quality purposes, including weld dimensions, which are commonly detailed on the blueprints. A flashlight helps the welder view welds in low light. It also highlights slight discontinuities that may not otherwise be seen. A simple tool for measuring weld size is the fillet gauge. Depending on the welder's expectations and the type of work being performed, additional inspection tools may be required. 
Lastly, a notepad is one of the most important things to keep in the welder's tool bag. For the student, a notepad is a great place to store new information to reference later. The notes may include how to adjust machine settings, measurement conversions, and tips for completing assignments. The experienced welder may use the notepad to record job identification information, keep quality control records, and list important due dates. The Welder's Tool Bag. You are now prepared.